Good day everyone. I hope you all must be doing good. So today I got uh, Redmi Note 11 and uh, Redmi Note 11 users must be waiting like I am also waiting to get the MIUI 14 ROM on the Redmi Note 11. The official stock ROM when it going to get released I don't know. You don't know because Xiaomi never tells the exact release date for any particular Xiaomi mobile phone of new upcoming latest UI. Anyway good news for the Redmi Note 11 users that that developer uh, ported uh, MIUI 14 stable ROM from the global variant for the Redmi Note 11. Yes, I have flashed this ROM already, used it for one week. Yes, the ROM is stable and uh, believe me, the MIUI 14 is much faster than MIUI 13. Having a good battery timing, performance is very best. Now, those who want to flash, who want to test this MIUI 14 or Redmi Note 11, they must have an unlock boot loader. If you have already an unlock boot loader, then you can simply follow the further steps. But if you don't have an unlock boot loader, I will provide tutorial video link in my video description. Watch that video, unlock the mobile phone boot loader and simply follow the further steps. Do not forget to subscribe my channel and also click or tap the bell icon. Thank you. Now follow the video and uh, get MIUI 14 on your Redmi Note 11. For the easy procedure, must insert the memory card, the SD memory card on the slot to get the ROM flash easily. Save all the internal storage data because this procedure will format everything. Must charge the mobile phone battery to maximum like 50 to 60 or 70 percent. Then go to settings and your mobile phone must be on the latest like my mobile phone currently having a latest miui version that is 13.0.6 and android version 12. the miui 14 will be having android version 13. so after flashing the miui 14 custom rom on mobile phone the android version will get updated from android 12 to android 13. must go to password and security and turn off the screen lock then in case if you are using me account then sync your me account once and then remove it and go to account sync sync your google account to once also and remove it you need to connect the data cable with your mobile phone this procedure requires data cable and computer i will tap the file transfer android auto and then i will move towards my computer screen now these two files that are required for to download i have provided links in my video description make a new folder and download these two files first of all extract only the custom recovery file from here and then copy the miui 14 stable android 13 rom from the computer folder and go to your mobile phone storages paste that rom file into your micro sd card storage which is already inserted in your mobile phone in case if you do not have a memory card you can simply copy this rom file to the usb otg now i will go back to my downloaded folder i will uh, open the extracted recovery folder and i will copy the recovery file that must be twrp 3.6.1 spes from the extracted folder then we'll go to the storages of my mobile phone same i will paste that recovery file to my sd card that already inserted in my mobile phone now double click the extracted folder and i have created a batch files to make the things easy for you coming back towards my mobile phone unlocking my mobile phone and i have already copied the the rom file and the recovery file into my memory card storage folder now the things that i have mentioned before that saving the data checking the battery and must have an unlock bootloader if you have followed all these things you can simply press the power button the mobile phone is already connected you can see that this cable is connected with the computer and also connected with the mobile phone when you see the power menu simply tap the reboot then tap again reboot and then press and hold the volume down key when you see fast boot screen then release the volume down key immediately yes i got the fast boot screen 
and uh, release the volume down key the set is booted into fast boot mode connect it already with the computer now come back towards the computer simply double click the flash one file the recovery will start flashing the window will get auto close when flashing done then simply double click the flash two file the set will get reboot immediately press and hold the volume up key until you see custom recovery screen then release the volume up key immediately when set boot it into custom recovery then you can simply disconnect the cable from the mobile phone and you can also uh, power off the computer we are done from the computer now come back towards the mobile phone screen tap settings first then come to the third menu and check if you can see the screen time out seconds make it to maximum then uh, whatever brightness you need just uh, may, uh, make it done then come back to the main screen tap wipe then tap format data type y e s then tap here done go back to the main screen tap advance then tap install recovery ram disk you can see it here tap here then tap select storage select your micro sd card or if you are using usb otg then you can select the usb otg in my case i have a micro sd card i will select the micro sd card i will tap on it then tap ok now i can see the partitions of my micro sd card scroll down and definitely the recovery file that i have copied earlier tap to select the recovery file dot img and swipe done go back to the main screen now tap wipe then tap advanced wipe and select delvic art cache the first one second one is metadata third is data that's all then swipe done now go back to the main screen then tap install and uh, in my case the sd card already selected so my set will show automatically the sd card but if you are using a micro but the usb otg then you have to tap the select storage and do your selection from here right now i will go to the my micro sd card which i'm already over here scroll down and the recover the rom file is already over here that i have copied earlier I will tap to select the ROM file then swipe the flashing procedure will be started it will take a time you have to wait for it now let the flashing complete then we will continue when flashing gets completed you will see this type of screen then tap go back to the main screen and tap advance then tap again on install recovery ram disk and select the recovery file twrp 3.6.1 tap to select the file then swipe and when it is done then go back to the main screen once again tap wipe tap format data type yes tap here now you can simply tap reboot system now redmi note 11 will stuck on this me logo for few seconds and then we'll start booting to me ui 14 and also we got the recovery flash very perfectly and we got the rom flash very perfectly now wait for it the first boot will take a little bit time me ui 14 the welcome logo appears on the mobile phone after finishing the first boot the complete the setup screen now finally the rom got flashed very perfectly this is the global rom so we are having google dialer and google messaging application now if i go to my mobile phone settings to show the about phone of my mobile phone now i got mi ui 14.0.3 and android version now i got is 13 before it was android 12 and this is mi ui global so there are two mi ui 14 one is the global variant like uh, global version for the global variant and one is the china version for china variant the global miui 14 is got flash very perfectly on redmi note 11 now you can simply enjoy using this rom i hope you got helped by this video do not forget to like the video and take a good care of yourself we'll see you in next video until then goodbye